My name is Lee Rubin and I am the creator of the internationally syndicated cartoon, Rubes. I get to draw cartoons every day that appear in newspapers worldwide. It's really a fun job. My workday begins when I tape one of these pre-printed borders down to the desk. And once it is taped down, I have a rule. A cartoon must appear on this paper by the end of the day, or it could only take 10 minutes. It doesn't matter because what I'm shooting for is funny, and that's the goal. I've been doing this routine for about 32 years. I love this gig because every day it's like some new magical thing happens here. I go to work in a cartoon factory. My name's Ryan Johnson. I'm the president of New Rule Productions and NewRuleEffects.com. I work on a daily basis building special effects props for the movie, theatrical, and television industries, and I also produce videos. I have known Ryan for about eight years or so, and we originally were working on a video project together. And about four years ago, I had this crazy idea of, why don't we do a show together? Because I knew he had previously done a show. And much to my surprise and delight, he said, let's do it. We kind of became friends because he'd come around every six months or so and have another project for us to work on for him. We worked together on a few projects here and there, and, and it sounds like now we're going to be working on a very big project together. Noodle Productions, Ryan speaking. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Lee, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. I, uh, hey, I got this uh, crazy opportunity for you. Okay, how can I help you? How good are you at giving a uh, fiberglass facelift to life-size cows? Life-size, wow, okay. You are the man when it comes to making props. I think you could give this cow that fiberglass facelift that it so deserves to make it into one of my cows. Okay. Modify the cow, very interesting. But I have a feeling it's gonna be, uh, what do they call that, a labor of love? I will clear the decks and we'll make it happen. So we'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much. Lee approached me about this concept called cow parade. And essentially it's these fiberglass cows that are given to a bunch of local artists in the Central Coast. And they all have the opportunity to take this blank canvas, which is this big white fiberglass cow, and turn it into something that reflects either their personal brand or something on the Central Coast. We've been given a cow that's you know, very anatomically correct, so my job is gonna to be to help, with his guidance, help transform this like real life cow into cartoon world cow. So we're gonna be adding big bulby eyes and weird looking mouths and giant tongues, all that kind of crazy stuff. So I'm here at Ryan's shop, and I suddenly realize everywhere I go, I use the things in my life to inspire my cartoons. Opening the door to Ryan's special effects shop, for example, unlocks a world of new, interesting, and funny ideas. Come with me as I explore his world and beyond to search for the inspiration I need to entertain my fans. Here I am at the shop, New Rule FX. Let's see what's going on. Can't wait to see that cow. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Lee. How you doing? Great, man. How are you? Good. Great, great to Welcome. see you. Yeah, thank you. Welcome to New Rule FX. Wow, this is uh, my first time. Can you show me some stuff here? Yeah, of course. As you know, we make all kinds of different props. We have foam props, you know, like a <laughs> fake rock, for example. <laughs> oh, this is great. It weighs nothing and looks real. It looks, yeah. And we've got weapons that are made of different foam materials. Um, food, things like that. The thing that we make the most of, though, that we're known for, are our breakaway bottles. Are you gonna see what it is? Yeah, absolutely. It looks just like this. <laughs> Ryan's a few years younger than me, but I, I think of us almost as siblings in a, in a strange <laughs> sort of way. Well, I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> but uh, wow. The, uh... So they, they break, <laughs> you know, realistically, but they don't hurt. That's too much. Can I can I try one uh, uh, on you? Would that uh, be uh, acceptable? Or, uh, sure. I gonna... suppose you could take this one. It's kind of a little bit on the thicker side. Well, so. uh, just pop that right there. Man, that is fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he has some rage to work on. So we're really getting to be known for taking real life objects and then making molds of them and casting them into shapes that are safe. 
you know, like example, this real branch, we make a mold of this and then we turn it into a foam prop. That is amazing. I mean, it looks incredibly realistic. Look at all the, the details in there, even the uh, the range. Yeah, it all replicates is, uh, into real great detail. This is great. I'd love to really cool. put this out there and fool some Boy Scouts. <laughs> and of course, you know, you have to have your Uzi. And so again, this is made out of foam. So if you have an action scene where you need to smack somebody on the head or something like that, it's not gonna hurt them. Wow. Uh, of course, we have to sell them with a little orange plug on the end because that's the law. But yeah, you're recommending that we don't take these to an airport? Yeah. Okay. Pretty much everything in my shop you don't want to take to the airport. <laughs> yeah. But maybe like this guy, you don't want to take this to the airport. It's our little detonator. We took care of those bad guys. <laughs> That's right. Your cow showed up just a couple days ago. I have it out in the shop. Why don't I give you a, a tour of the rest of the place and then we'll uh, take a good close look at the cow, figure out how we're going to turn it into your cartoon cow. What are we going to call this thing, by the way? Well, it's, I think it's called the Adventure Cow because it's going to be Adventure adventuring cow. all over San Luis Obispo County. Okay. All right. The Adventure Cow. I like it. Well, let's start our adventure. <laughs> Mind if I uh, grab this drink? <laughs> sure. It's cool that he'll get a chance to see all the creative projects that I'm working on because I get to see his work on a daily basis in the newspaper. Hey, so I, now let me think here. So Ryan can make anything there, and so I'll bet he could make fake barf. That's it, fake barf. It's, it's, it's perfect because, I mean, who doesn't like fake barf? He's the only guy I know that can turn barf into a work of art. Another masterpiece, eh, Picasso? Drink's a little stiff. Yeah, it's a little weak too, though. <laughs> so this is our shop. My own personal playland where I can work with all kinds of different machines and try different techniques. Just really have a chance to experiment and prototype new products. This is kind of my little lab for building small, intricate, detailed little props. So that's what this guy is here. And it sure looks real. It's called a retractable syringe. And basically, you can take it like this and Stick it in your arm, oh. and pull it out, but it doesn't hurt because it's just a spring-loaded needle hidden inside of there. Can I try that? Yeah, yeah. That is that is amazing. Let me, let me do the. Uh... Ow! Not really. This little prop can play such an important part in any movie, and Ryan gets to make these things and play with them. You know, if I had one of these when I was a kid playing doctor, I would have been the most popular kid on the block. So this is our CNC machine. It stands for Computer Numerical Control. And basically what it is is a really fancy router that's connected to a computer system. So basically what I can do with this is uh, cut, for example, a balsa wood baseball bat. Can we, can we do one of those? Yeah, actually, I'm setting one up right now. Um, this is a piece of balsa wood, and I've got it mounted in the chuck here on this lathe. And so what I do is I get it all centered, and then I have to adjust it. So I get this balanced out just right. Wow, so this this tells exactly where to position it. You push the button and walk away. Essentially, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty great. That's The hard part is so cool. the beginning stage, which is programming all of this, right? So we have to program where it's gonna go, but once that program's done, it's quite easy. Now it's running. Wow. I could do your job. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> so, so now it's going to go back and forth for an hour, right? And make a baseball bat. Oh, so we can go to lunch. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> so now it's just finished cutting. So now all we have to do is take it off. And I'll remove this back piece here. Wow, this is a, this looks like a real baseball bat. Feel how light that is. I could knock a wiffle ball out of the park with this baby. <laughs> <laughs> so balsa wood's really cool because it's, um, it's actually considered a hardwood, but it's also one of the softest woods out there. And so we use it for special effects because it's very, very light and it breaks very easily. I can, so this bat, I mean, you could literally just snap it in half if you wanted to. Should I? Should no, I do don't it? do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I gotta ship it today. Uh. 
making those breakaway bats, and those are awesome. Those are so much fun. I mean, it'd be fun to just have. But let's say, so let's say I got a real guy here playing ball with the breakaway bats. Oh, I, oh that, that's it, that's it, that's it. Strike three. So here's a good example of a real object that we turn into a foam object. So we get a real brick like this. Yeah. Oh, obviously a real brick. That's a real brick. And then we'll make a mold of that and turn it into a foam brick. Which one would you rather be hit with? Well, having dropped one on my toe when I was younger, I think I'll take the foam. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, we do all kinds of weird stuff like that. And, uh, over here is where we make most of our molds. Uh, for example, that tree branch I was showing you. Yeah. So. <laughs> This is the mold that we use to produce that. And you can see all those little grains down to the rings you were talking about. Nope. Wow, look at that. Those all get reproduced off of the real wood. So that's as old as this mold is. There you go. <laughs> Let me show you the bottle room. Yeah, I, mean, I want to see the bottle room. This is our hot cast room, or we just call it the bottle room, and this is where we make all our breakaway bottles. This is Eddie. Hey, Hi. Eddie. He's our hey. master bottle fabricator. Nice this you. is Lee. Wow. And this is a breakaway bottle like you saw before. Yeah. yeah. Looks like glass. Sure does. Uh, but breaks very realistically and safely. Wow. Just like that. <laughs> it never gets old, does it? Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. Mm -hmm. What do these people have against me? Here's your cow. Wow, it's uh, life size. Yeah, and I, it's right in the middle of my shop. <laughs> well, we, I guess we gotta get this cow moving along. Exactly. We just got the cow delivered here a couple days ago, and so we're gonna actually be taking a look at it together and literally try to figure out where we're gonna adjust and change and sculpt and design uh, his Rube's cow. What I'm hoping you can do is just kind of sketch right on the cow itself and give me some sense of what it is you're thinking. Like, how do we turn this real looking cow into your cartoon world cow? Cartoonify the cow. Cartoonify. Okay. Well, here are the. So don't tools. be bashful. I mean, we're not going to, we're going to paint over the whole thing anyway, so you can sketch and draw all over it. But, um, you know, kind of talk to me about where we want to build it out, if we need to carve it in or whatever. Well, I'm, I'm, what it's, I'm thinking is to bring it forward to so the cow I want to look forward because okay. it's always looking right now for that it's next looking adventure. Down. Yeah it's looking like it's gonna graze and we need it to look forward. The the head is alright but we need to just kind of tilt it up so and the eyes will be bulging and looking out front much like uh, well, we can just cover this all up and sand that down. Like a, a fr uh, you know not a frow but a, you know a Brow? The or a brow, a brow, brow, German the super orbital brow. ridge. Yeah, exactly. Got it. And uh, everything's going to come out, and these nostrils will be very cartoonified. You know, so the you kind want of it to kind of slope out. Exactly. The way your it's cartoons gonna, usually do. We're going to give this this nice uh, a rhinoplasty with a little upturned nose. Actually, it's going to be it. a very big upturn. That's nose. quite popular here in LA. I'd love to have like a. A tongue sticking out the side. Okay, yeah. So the nose is gonna kinda come out, the nostrils will be kinda front facing. We'll smooth this over mm -hmm. and make this just appear to the side and we'll have those eyeballs bulging way out on the front. Since we have to put uh, the various cities of San Luis Obispo County on here, now I'm thinking more like an adventure cow would have a, a cape. Start here, maybe go over the shoulder. This, this, uh, these hips are perfect for a cape, by the way. And you know, I could... Good cape hips. Yeah, good cape hips goes all Everybody the way Everybody likes around. good cape hips. Because look at all these angles. Cows have great angles. They're very They really angular. do. I hadn't really yeah, thought about it they're... that much. In the next few weeks, I'll work on sculpting it, kind of taking some blocks of foam and different materials to build up over the original form that we have. It's the new mascot. <laughs> yeah. Get it all sanded and put together so that Lee will then have a new blank canvas that's in the shape of his cows, and then he can start doing all his paint work in the next few weeks. So the cape will be kind of like a spoiler on it because it's the adventure cow. Adventure cow! Away! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's do it. Wow, 
I finally finally got this. This is this is this is great. Ryan's gonna really like this one. It's uh, it's perfect. It's like I, I I came into his shop here. He's got the fake boulders, fake bottles, fake booze. So after spending an entire day with Ryan, I am inspired. There are so many elements here that I can pull from to create a new cartoon, or hopefully several cartoons. Fake bottles, fake frying pans, fake weapons, fake booze. Gosh, Ryan, is anything around this place real? I have to admit, I have never done a day like this in my life, not to mention the cow. That's an ongoing project, so I'm gonna have a lot more days of inspiration here. This is terrific. I've just received these designs from Lee for Adventure Cow. Now it's up to me to take our fiberglass cow and turn her into the shape of Adventure Cow. I've got a lot of work and a very short timeline. I spent hours and hours sculpting and defining Adventure Cow. Lee even stopped by to do some sanding and helped get her nose just right. think? <laughs> wow. So once this gets painted, I think that's going to look really good. And you'll be able to do all the paint effects with the bulging eyes and all that stuff. And of course, all your cartoons that will go over the cape. It's off to you now. It's terrific. Oh man, great job. Hey, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. I see you've got all the, the colors here. It really comes together. It looks like a real cartoon now. It's, a, it's um, Amazingly, it did come together. It only took a couple days to do. Well, I know you got uh, more than just a couple weeks into this. You uh, definitely put some time into it. But yeah. Well, uh, we both did. You can certainly be proud of it. It looks really great. Yeah. And you've got all the, the cartoons here. Yep, all representing our different uh, adventures that the cow is going to go on through San Luis Obispo County and also just things you can do in the county because it's such a destination. I think we can be real proud of this. Me too. Well, great job again. Hey, thanks, Ryan. And uh, I guess I'll see you at the party. We are at the incredible launch of the San Luis Obispo Cow Parade where all 101 cows are here gathered. All these incredible works of art in the Madonna Meadows right by the world famous Madonna Inn in San Luis Obispo, California. These are 101 cows been painted by local artists, uh, sponsored by local businesses. So here we are, today's the uh, launch day, if you will and a private party tonight that we're having some people come out and see the cows. They'll be on display for seven months, and then in, in May of 2017, we will have an auction, and so these cows can be brought back together, and then that's where the proceeds are generated for charities. There's a Van Gogh cow, there's a Marilyn Monroe cow, there's a, well, an adventure cow. The, the, the sponsor of the Adventure Cow is Visit San Luis Obispo County, and I believe they are pretty darn happy with it. It has been challenging, exciting, a little bit frustrating at times, but really, really worth it to get to the end result. Nothing without a little sweat equity, you know what I mean? My wife and I, we're dairy farmers by trade. That's what we do for a living. We also love the arts, we love the community. So we said, people here have never seen this. This needs to come to the area. We all have to do our part, man. We all have to do it, so this is, what, this is our part. It's incredible. Two years of hard work, the community coming together, and this is the culmination. Now we have seven months to enjoy this throughout the area, so it's great. 
the, the life of the adventure cow is pretty darn incredible. We went so far to the Atascadero Zoo last Friday. The cow went surfing. Yes, really surfing. This may be a world first. We're gonna go wine tasting, zip lining. There's several more adventures to come. All of them will be seen soon. It's really fun for us both to kind of go on these adventures so that we can both find different ways of learning how the world really works. The behind the scenes, just where an artist finds their inspiration, all those things are really inspiring to me and I think Lee finds them inspiring as well. Now I want to go out there and see what inspires others to do what they love to do the most, what drives them creatively and from where they draw their inspiration. Yeah.